And time for today's last book. It is Colour of Ireland by Rob Cross. So we all took a look at it. We all got to see some of the photos. Absolutely incredible book. Lovely coffee table book as well. Um, Emer, we'll start with you. What was your favourite photo and why? It was hard to pick one. Like I spent a lot of time the other day going through it and I just love books like that. But I chose one that was of three women who were selling their wares on the Giant's Causeway. And... It, I think it's from around 1900 and it just, the colorization showed the real detail of what they had. I think they were selling trinkets to tourists, it says in the book. And it just shows the detail of what they have in their baskets, of what they're wearing, kind of the color on their face. I just, I was staring at it for a long time. So I really liked it. Sarah, what about you? I chose a picture from Dun Leary of the open air baths that were there. Um, and it was actually the same picture yeah. that Tom, but I'm going first, so I'm stealing yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> um, me, me. I just thought it was so mm. beautiful and so cinematic looking. And I, myself and Emer were in Bel Belmullet in County Mayo on our holidays this year and there was an open air bath yeah. there and we just absolutely Beautiful. loved it. Yeah, it was amazing. You're brilliant at sea swimming. I will go if there's like walls like that. Yeah. Um, and I didn't realise that they had been kind of all over the Dublin coast I'm from Dublin. And I was just, it was just so nice to see it there. Tom, what right. were you for the book? Well, after I had my favourite photograph <laughs> uh, stolen from me, uh, I went for one of, uh, I think it's Patrick Street. It's in kind of the inner city Coombe area mm -hmm. of Dublin, which is where my folks would be from. I, I grew up, I went to school in James Street in around all that area. Now, a lot of what's there is gone, but a lot of the other stuff is still there. And um, it's real old Dublin. You get a great sense of the history of it. So seeing it brought alive in colour like that, to see these people, it just makes it seem like that they're within grasp somehow, that it's, you know, it's not as far back as, as it seems when it's black and white. What the colour does to it is, is really quite amazing. It's kind of like Peter Jackson's, the, the documentary on World War I. When you see those people in colour, it makes it seem like a much more recent memory. And the people look much more like people you can identify with. They look, look like you and I, really, yeah. uh, which is it's such a gift. It's an amazing thing to do. I think it's a book that should be on every coffee table in every yeah, house and every gorgeous. coffee shop going because it's just one of those pick-me-ups yeah. that you can just go through and just step back in time. Now, Tom, you did bring in a picture for us here. I did indeed. So tell us the story behind this, please. That is my mum and dad getting married in 1947. And uh, I tweeted out the photo. I found, found the photograph. I'd never seen it before. It's very taken by how pretty my mother was. But I tweeted it out and Rob saw it and offered to colourise it for me. So that's the colourised photograph. Incredible. 1947. I just, it, it makes them both so young. My dad is 27, Tommy, and my mother, Bridie, is just uh, 25. It's a special thing to have, isn't it? She's gorgeous.